Page 87 Writing Skills It includes Note Making, Summarizing, Subtitling, Essay Writing, Letter Writing, Creative Writing. Page 88 I know what I want to say, but I don't know how to say it. I student. To be able to write effectively, the student needs to 1. Understand the significance and purpose of writing. 2. Develop coherence in writing. 3. Understand and employ cohesive devices. 4. Have relative command of grammar, spelling and punctuation. Page 89 Chapter 1 Note making. Note making is an important study skill. It also helps us at work. We need to draw the main points of the material we read as it is difficult to remember large chunks of information. Let us begin with an example. Study the following passage carefully. Pheasants are shy, charming birds known for their brilliant plumage. These beautiful birds occupy an important niche in nature's scheme of things. Of the 900 bird species and 155 families, the pheasants belong to the order Galliforms and family Phasinidae. The Galliforms are known as game birds and this includes pheasants, patridges, quails, grouse, francolins, turkeys and megapods. There are 51 species of pheasants in the world and these are shown in the identification chart brought out by the Environment Society of India, ESI. The purpose of this chart is to create awareness among members of the school eco-clubs under the National Green Corps, NGC, of the Ministry of Environment and Forests, Government of India. Except for the Congo peafowl, all the other pheasants are from Asia. Scientists believe that all pheasants originated from the Himalayas and then scattered into Tibet, China, Myanmar, South and Southeast Asian countries as well as the Caucasus Mountains. The jungle fowl and the pea fowl spread to South India and Sri Lanka long before the early settlers established themselves in the Indo-Gangetic plain. About a third of all the pheasants in the world are found in India. The male blue pea fowl, the peacock, is the best known member of the pheasant family and is India's national bird. It occupies a prominent place in India's art, culture and folklore. Page 90 Step 1. Notice that the important information has been underlined. The underlined part is narrated by a female narrator. Pheasants are shy, charming birds known for their brilliant plumage. These beautiful birds occupy an important niche in nature's scheme of things. Of the 900 bird species and 155 families, the pheasants belong to the order Galliforms and family Phasinidae. The Galliforms are known as game birds. And this includes pheasants, patridges, quails, grouse, francolins, turkeys and megapods. There are 51 species of pheasants in the world. And these are shown in the Identification chart brought out by the Environment Society of India, ESI. The purpose of this chart is to create awareness among members of the school eco-clubs under the National Green Corps, NGC, of the Ministry of Environment and Forests, Government of India. Except for the Congo peafowl, all the other pheasants are from Asia. Scientists believe that all pheasants originated from the Himalayas and then scattered into Tibet, China, Myanmar, South and Southeast Asian countries as well as Caucasus Mountains. The jungle fowl and the pea fowl spread to South India and Sri Lanka long before the early settlers established themselves in the Indo-Gangetic Plain. About a third of all the pheasants in the world are found in India. The male blue pea fowl, the peacock, is the best known member of the pheasant family and is India's national bird. It occupies a prominent place in India's art, culture and folklore. Step 2. Read the passage again, asking yourself questions and answering them as you read. What is the passage about? Pheasants. 
were found asia particularly india one third of total population origin himalayas time long before indo gangetic plain settlements which group of birds order galliforms game birds family fascinidae page 91 how many species 51 what is the source of information esi chart what is the purpose of the esi chart create awareness among school eco clubs under ngc which is the best known member peacock india's national bird step 3 with the help of the answers note down the main points write the points without full forms of the verbs pheasants shy birds with bright plumage found largely in asia especially india origin in the himalayas and spread in china myanmar south and southeast asia order galliforms game birds family fascinidae number of species 51 esi chart purpose of esi chart creating awareness among school eco clubs under ngc peacock india's national bird member of this family represented in indian art culture and folklore notice 1 two or three related ideas can be combined into one point 2 use of colons 3 use of the long dash step 4 now go over the facts and number them this is only to analyze the process of note making with practice you will be able to reach step 4 immediately going through steps 2 and 3 mentally page 92 step 5 finally we go over the facts and number them again read carefully the characteristics of good notes which are given below 1 first notes should be short they should identify the main point second they list information in what is called note form third they are written only in phrases not sentences two first information is logically divided and subdivided by the use of figures or letters second the divisions are made like this main sections 1 2 3 etc subsections first second third etc sub subsections a b c etc 3 another common method is the decimal system main sections 1 2 3 etc subsections 1.1 1.2 1.3 etc sub subsections 1.1.1 1.1.2 1.1.3 1.2.1, 1.2.2, etc. 4. Abbreviations and symbols are freely used. Articles, prepositions, and conjunctions are omitted. 5. Notes must make sense when they are read again; otherwise, they will be of no use. Now read the following text. The energy stored in coal and petroleum originally came to the earth from the sun. The bulk of the present day supplies was laid down some 200 to 600 million years ago when tropical conditions were widespread lush swampy forests produced huge trees warm coastal seas swarmed with microscopic forms of life when these organisms died much of their tissue was recycled as it is today through scavenging and decay but a significant amount of dead plant and animal material was covered with mud which prevented complete decomposition page 93 with the passage of time layer upon layer of the fine sediment was deposited over the once living material the sheer weight turned the sediments to rock sandwiched between the layers both coal and petroleum were produced and preserved under pressure coal was formed mostly of giant fern like plants that have only small counterparts today coal may still be forming here and there on earth but conditions are not right for the production of significant quantities 1 underline the important words and phrases 2 
write down points without fully expanded verbs numbering them as you do 3 combine related points 4 group related points 5 change the verbs to nouns and begin points with them 6 number the points after you have finished check with the notes given below 1 storage of energy from sun in coal and petroleum 2 deposit of bulk of supplies 200 to 600 million years ago 3 teeming life in tropical conditions 4 death of life forms leading to recycling through decay 5 prevention of total decomposition by considerable dead plants animals being covered with mud 6 solidification of sediment leading to rock formation over time 7 production of coal petroleum by compression of organic matter between rocks 8 unsuitability of present day conditions for coal formation